Skip it up and that up. So I could tell you firsthand, uh, as a person who used to repair people's laptops and desktop computers, um, you find some very interesting things when people bring in their products to be repaired. I always remember fondly when Windows Vista was still relatively new, um, a big heavy set biker dude came in and he had issues with the operating system, shockingly. Issues with Vista? No way. Uh, and you know, remember how Vista in the top right corner used to have, you used to scroll through the pictures that you had on your computer. You know, if you had nice family photos or whatever, you could show them off to people. Uh, well, they weren't nice family photos that this guy had. It was actually pictures of him completely naked, uh, doing very questionable things to himself. I will leave it at that. Just use your imagination and be horrified because your imagination is probably still not as bad as what the, he was doing in the pictures. And you would deal with laptop keyboards with sticky keys and just many, many gross. I remember there was a woman who was a smoker and the entire computer was filled with like a very thick tar-like dust and oh God. So uh, the point being is that when you repair people's personal belongings, like laptops, especially computers because they have fans and they're circulating air. Some of the stuff that you would have to deal with was pretty friggin' gross, man, and that's an understatement. So when I found out that due to the PlayStation 4's design, it's not a flaw, it's just how the system was built and how bugs react to heat. When I found out that the PS4 um, the way the power supply is actually attracts cockroaches. As a person who used to personally repair disgusting electronics, I felt Tronics fixes pain. They're a console repair company, and in this video, I'm gonna show you a clip of it, they explain why cockroaches love the power supply inside the PS4. I'll have a link to the full video below in the description. I suggest you check it out, but here's a little snippet of it, take a look. Cockroaches love PS4s, and here's why. This right here, the power supply. There's a great, uh, nice, dark area for them to live. You plug it in and you turn on your PS4 and it creates a nice little heated home for cockroaches. Now the problem with this, the main problem other than that there's cockroaches in your PS4, is that they um, walk around in there, make their home in there, have babies in there, and they do a lot of pooping in there. And that causes this. There's all kinds of little trails inside here and there's dead cockroaches in here. And what happens is they run around inside here and they touch two, two of the wrong points that have energy and it zaps the cockroaches and zaps the power supply. So let's get to those close-ups of what this power supply looks like. Okay, so here you can see um, all the little dots on there and then there's, you can see right down in there, there's actually a cockroach down in there. Um, so um, this is not good for, for power supplies or any other electronics. This is a good way to um, cause them to go out. So you can see this guy, he's um, touching two points in there. The, that may even be the one that took this one out. I don't know for sure. Um, sometimes when you open these up, there's actually a burn mark on there um, from where they, the two points they touch, but I didn't see that on this one. So I don't know for sure if there is or not. Um, but anyway, this is what it looks like. And this is the problem with the cockroaches. Now for First off, huge shout out to Tronix Fix. They have a really cool YouTube channel. I found it via Kotaku today, and they show Nintendo Switch teardowns. They show them replacing PS4 power supplies. They have a really, really informative channel. I suggest you check them out. But beyond that, oh God. Oh man, if I look, that's one thing, thank God I never had to deal with is cockroaches inside of like a laptop or a desktop, but that is gross, man. Did you see the poop inside of the power supply? There are little brown spots all over it. And did you see where the cockroach was? He, I get that big capacitor that's in there. I guarantee you the cockroach touched the two leads coming out of the capacitor and not the capacitor discharged into that cockroach. That thing, that cockroach is probably out like a light insta-death right there, man. Oh God. See, the funniest thing though 
is I, I, I was seeing comments saying, oh, that's because people are disgusting and they, they need to, even the Kotaku article says, you know, clean your house once in a while, you won't deal with the, this issue. Which, yeah, I'm sure that is a percentage of the issue is that people are just nasty and they don't clean enough, you know. But that's not always the case, especially if you live in a condo or an apartment. You could be the cleanest person in the world. You could disinfect your entire house from top to bottom every single day. But if your neighbor or the tenant across your apartment complex or even your next to you, their slobs, their cockroach problem can infest you. Perfect example is, is my grandmother. She just passed away late last year, sadly. Um, her apartment was spotless, cleaned from top to bottom. She had someone come in once a week to, to make sure it was clean. There was still a cockroach infestation in her apartment. She actually had to leave for a few days so that they could get rid of it because her next door neighbors in the same apartment complex were disgusting. So that's how you could get cockroaches. You could be clean, but if your next door neighbor isn't, it becomes your problem. Another perfect example. Now my mother, she is obsessive compulsive when it comes to cleaning like there could be a clean sock on the floor not even a dirty one a clean sock okay and because it, it, it's on the floor and it makes the, the rug look slightly messy she'll freak out she's that level of cleanliness so, but there was an apartment that we lived in when i was a kid okay which again was spotless our apartment was spotless it was like a house where there was like one apartment upstairs one apartment downstairs we were upstairs and the downstairs tenants were disgusting okay and this was part of the reason that we moved now i was god what was i six years old and my mom was pouring me a bowl of cereal as she she was pouring the bowl of cereal towards the bottom of the, of the box as she was pouring it into the bowl a couple cockroaches came out with the cereal because the cockroaches bury themselves into the bottom of the cereal and, and when she poured it out the cockroaches went into the bowl again i assure you it is not because my mother was a dirty person she is not a dirty person she is borderline almost too clean to the point where it's like a character flaw but again because of our disgusting downstairs neighbors we had a cockroach issue which i think god we moved like two or three weeks later we moved to another apartment this is back in like the late 80s or going back a long time ago so that's the thing too. This is why people, there may be a big PS4 cockroach problem because there may be plenty of people that clean their apartments from top to bottom. But again, if they have a nasty neighbor, those cockroaches become their problem because cockroaches like warm, dark places, that PS4 power supply is like a haven to them. But man, I give Tronics Fix a lot of credit. I think they actually charge $25 extra. They call it a cockroach fee, which I don't blame them. That must be disgusting. That has, to, I mean, in the article from Kotaku, they, they actually said there was a guy showing him there was a, a bag. He said it was a bag full of cockroaches. He's like, yep, those are all cockroaches from us fi fixing and cleaning systems, and, and they're all dead now. That, oh, God. That's like nightmare fuel, man. I, I don't know if I can handle that. Luckily, like I said, I never had to deal with that as a technician, but that I don't know. I, I may I may have quit. If I opened up a computer and saw a bunch of dead cockroaches, I would have screamed like a woman. Imagine a large, hairy, fat man screaming like a woman, and I would have probably quit <laughs> right there. So I give Tronix Fix a lot of credit for doing that because... I don't know, they must have like really thick rubber gloves when they're fixing that stuff because that is disgusting. But the bottom line is too, is it doesn't mean that the person who's getting their PS4 fixed that had cockroaches in it, it also doesn't necessarily mean they're nasty. They could be the cleanest person in the world, but their next door neighbor could make their cockroach problem become their problem. So don't be so quick to judge. This is Richard Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. Oh, that's so nasty. Opening up a PS4 and seeing cockroaches. Ugh.